Hey everyone, it's me, Serena, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about style in our 40s, 50s, and beyond, and how we can be the best version of ourselves no matter what our age. So if you like unboxings, clothing reviews, shopping hauls, and that type of thing, hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. Today I'm excited because I've got my monthly box in from Daily Look. Daily Look is a subscription box, personal stylist uh, program, and um, it's a $25 styling fee, which of course gets applied to anything that you keep out of your box, and they send you nine items, so it's a nice size collection. Uh, some of the others do five or maybe seven, but this is a bigger one. It's, it's nine items to try in your home. Uh, you get um, five days to try everything on, see what you like, keep and check out online, keep what you want and send back what you don't. So in the box, and they send such a pretty box, I've shared the box with you before, but it comes, I just think that's so cute, it comes in this exterior box with a fancy looking um, closet and then the pretty blue box inside that box with the clothes. And of course you get a little personal note from your stylist and a packing slip with all the items and the prices. And I will say Daily Look is not um, is not inexpensive. It would be probably along the lines of a trend send, probably not as much as Trunk Club on average, but comparable to a trend send prices from the Ever Eve store. And but they do have discounts. If you spend, you know, up to a certain amount, um, then they'll give you $100 off and that type of thing. And um, I will put my referral link below. And if you try Daily Look for yourself and you sign up through my referral link, you'll get a $40 credit toward a purchase in your first box. And I'll get a little credit too. So if you'd like to try it, be sure to click on my link down there and you can try this out for yourself. But yeah, a note, packing slip. They always include a couple of other... Um, coupons in their box. This is like this one. This is 20% off Jane Wynn jewelry. And um, and they also throw in a couple of freebies, which is nice. Um, this time I got a sample of Ollie Sleep Gummies. And then they also sent um, a sample of My Doll Complete. So they always throw in little extras in your box, which is kind of fun. So stick around, I'll be right back with the first outfit. Okay, first outfit, we are starting off with a bang. <laughs> I am really pleased with uh, this so far. This little blouse is by Love Stitch. And I couldn't tell with this hanging on the hanger, but it buttons down the front and it has this little peplum style. So it comes in and then kind of flares out here which helps define a waist. And that is really cute. I was not expecting that until I put it on. I was like, okay, you guys, that's cute. And so it's black with the multicolor floral. And then in these democracy, these are the democracy ankle skimmer pants. And she had them cuffed, but since they're already ankle skimmers, I don't need them cuffed. I saw I uncuffed them. And these are a size four. And I don't know, I mean, there's a ton of stretch in them. I mean, I can definitely wear them, but I feel like a six might have been better just because of how tight they are on the thighs and being this lighter color. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think they look okay? Or would you have gone with a six? So there's the look, front, side. I just really love this little top. <laughs> how, many how many times have I said that? And it has a puff sleeve. I like the neckline on it. It's just really cute. A really cute little top. I could also wear this with white or black for that matter. I could wear this with the black uh, dress pants. And I think I'll try those on next. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I forgot to mention um, with the Democracy Ankle Skimmer, the khaki color pants, 
uh, those are $78. And this little blouse, um, the vintage floral puff sleeve top is 72. Okay, so I changed pants, kept on the same blouse, and I put on the Liverpool slim leg trouser. These are 105. Okay. $105 on these pants. I don't know how much you'll be able to tell about these being black. It's hard to catch on camera, but y'all, these pants fit me like they were tailor made for me. Um, and I know I don't have on dress shoes. I just have on these little slot, uh, nude uh, sandals, but use your imagination because these are a nice stretchy thick. They're not thin. They're a nice weighted thicker fabric, not too thick, but just, just enough to hide any lumps and bumps and ripples that you may have. And the leg is slim, but it's not tight. You can wear these with flats, with heels, really any kind of shoe and, and dress them up. So since I have been in need of some new dress pants, and since I do have some credit on my account from some of you guys have tried Daily Look and I've gotten some referral credits, so I appreciate that very much. You have no idea that really helps me out. Um, helps me continue to get these boxes and try-ons and bring you guys great new content when I can get those credits to help me with the purchase prices of, of some of the items in these boxes. So anyway, these are a great pair of pants. I highly recommend. Of course, Liverpool is great. I've got Liverpool jeans that are great, but I did not really know anything about their dress pants, but these fit and feel amazing. They have a ton of stretch. Really nice. They have, um, of course, belt loops. They don't have a button. They have a little uh, clasp on the inside, a hook. They have little pockets on the back. Really nice pair of dress trousers. Really nice. And everybody needs a pair of these in their closet because you never know when you need a nice pair of black slacks for job, work, maybe going to a funeral or funeral visitation and you could wear something like this, you know, and look nice. I mean, that may be a morbid thought, but you know, everybody needs a nice pair of black pants um, in their closet. So I'm really digging these. So let me get changed into the next outfit and I'll be right back. Okay, next outfit. What do you think? This is the black blouse with the bow detail in back. And you can see the V can't tell if my bra, yeah, my bra is showing just a little bit, but if I wore a black bra and it showed a little bit, I don't think that would matter too much. Isn't this cute? And it has the bell sleeves, comes to a nice um, place on my hips, not too long. So I'm really thinking that my stylist listened to my feedback and picked out some things that, that fit me nicely. I love the V-neck. Be pretty with a necklace here. So yeah, this top is something unique and different. I don't have anything like it. And this could be really dressy too, especially with that back on it. You know, you could wear this with some fun jewelry, wear it for um, girls' night or date night or anything, wear it with regular jeans or white or whatever. Um, really cute. And let's talk about the jeans. These are the Gen 7 jeans by 7 for All Mankind. And y'all, I have to say this, I like these better than, than um, my J. Crew ones. I do. And this is a straight leg, it's not as skinny. And she's got it cuffed for me and I like this length it's not too short but even when I unroll the cuff I'll do that real quick so when I undo the cuff they come down just to the perfect length not too long so I can wear them either cuffed for a little cropped look or uncuffed just for a straight leg all the way down 
and these are nice and thick enough that you don't see my underwear through them because I do I'll tell you I don't have on nude underwear today <laughs> and you can't see my undies I don't think of course anytime I wear white I um I wear nude undies but anyway they just have a, a nice fit they're high rise but not super high rise they have a good amount of stretch in them too. Can you tell I like them? And these are, I misspoke earlier, these are not $105. That was the Liverpool trousers. These are, how much are they? $99. So yeah, still pricey for denim, but a lot less expensive than the regular seven for all mankind. But I really like this outfit. I like the top and I like the jeans. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I'm going to put on another top with these same jeans and I'll be right back. Okay, before I get into the next item here, a couple of things I wanted to uh, talk about and share. For one, I don't know if you're, well, obviously, I guess you're noticing now that um, ads are popping up during my videos. I finally hit that threshold where um, I qualified to be monetized by YouTube. And the way that happens is by the ads that run before, during, and at the end of my videos. And um, I just learned this recently, so you may not be aware, but the only way that any YouTubers get uh, monetized by those ads that run is when someone watches a whole entire ad. So if you skip through them the second you can, which is what I've always done, <laughs> then that person's channel gets no credit whatsoever for that ad. You have to watch it through till the end. So what I'm doing now on, on my YouTubers that I like to watch and follow, I am at least watching one ad all the way through when, um, when I'm watching one of their videos. And even if you just let the ad run and you get up and you take a bathroom break or you go and refill your drink or whatever, just let it run to the end because that, that really helps us out. And I'm yet to be monetized anything. I don't, it's a tiny little percent that we get, but that's how it works. And also, um, if you would watch my videos all the way through till the end, that helps me out too with the YouTube algorithms and things. So instead of, you know, just cutting it off when I'm getting close to the end, if you would let it run to the end, I would appreciate that as well. So thank you guys so much. And the other thing I wanted to mention uh, is my makeup for today because some of you always like to know what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing the Pure 4-in-1 uh, Selfie Foundation in the color TN1. And my bronzer is by Bobbi Brown. It's the color Elvis Duran. And my blush is the NARS blush in Orgasm. And I'm using my Tarte, um, Tarte palette for eyeshadow. It's the matte palette and Man Eater uh, mascara on my lashes. And my lip color today, it's another one of these um, Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink Long Wearing Lipstick Colors, and this is in the color Speak Up. So that's my lip color for today. So, all right, well that stuff out of the way, I'll show you the next item from the box. And it's this sleeveless top by Velvet Heart. It feels amazing. It's 100% uh, tinsel. And you know how tinsel just has that cool to the touch feeling and that really nice drape. Um, and the fun thing is the pattern. The pattern is, it looks like a chambray or a denim, but like with a white leopard print in with it. Isn't that fun? So it is sleeveless, but it is bra friendly. I have on a regular bra and I just left it out. It's got, well, no, it doesn't have slits on the side. I thought it did, but it doesn't. It's just straight across the bottom, buttons all the way down the front. And even though this is a size small, um, the buttons are not gapping. So that's awesome. And I forgot to mention that all the tops that she sent me are a size small, okay? And these jeans, the white denim, by seven, they are in a size four. 
and the Liverpool trousers I had on, they're in a size four also, and the Democracy tan um, jeans are in a size four. But all these things have tons of stretch, which is how I'm able to pull off a size four. Okay, so here's the top out. Here's the back. And I'll give you a front tuck so you can kind of see what that would look like. So there's a front tuck look. And I think what you could also do is um, unbutton a couple of, like the last two buttons on here and then tie it at the waist. And that would be cute too. It would be kind of like that. Or you could just tuck it in the old fashioned way. But this is a pretty fun shirt. And let's see, how much is this? This is $78. It's a little pricey for just a top like this, but there are aspects of it that are really nice. The fabric, the tinsel fabric, and the fact that um, it's bra friendly and it's a button front and I don't have any gapping. So all those things are, are really positives. So there you go. All right, I am going to try on the dress next. I'll be right back. Okay, next item is this dress by Gilly. And I think my stylist, I think, I believe her name is Jennifer. Yes, my stylist, hey Jennifer, you got me in trouble this time because you gave me so many cute and great fitting items in this box. How cute is this dress? Okay, yes, it is quite low. I would have to wear a uh, bandeau or something here because this comes down, it's showing my bra. But how cute is this dress? And it fits right here where I'm the smallest and then floats away. So it skims over my hips and butt and thighs. Isn't it cute? It has the little flutter sleeves, so cute and feminine. And the pattern, it's a navy background, and then these are little daisies. Can you see that? Just so cute. And it's a faux wrap here in the front, and it's got the little tie right here. And then the V in the back. What do you think? It's so cute. It could be cute with a little cardigan or even a jean jacket. I love the skirt. It hits me at exactly the right length. Dresses, as you know, are so hard on me, especially if they don't come in petite sizes. And she did a really good job of finding one that fits me. So this is super cute. And this dress, as I mentioned before, it's by Gilly and it is $74. So not bad for a dress because a dress is a one and done outfit. Just put on your shoes and go. Of course you could wear, oh, this would be cute with some little espadrille wedges. Oh, that would really be cute. I just got it on with my, my little thong sandals, but how cute, super cute dress. Great job, Jennifer. So there you go. All right, I've got two more bottoms to try, so let me get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, here are some jean shorts. These are by Flying Monkey. These are super stretchy and comfy. Let's see, these um, are a size 28, so a size six and the price is $78. And you can see it's got some, oh, my pocket. Oh, well that's kind of weird. Right there where that distressing is, the pocket was sticking out through the distressing. That's, yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, um, so here they are. Got some distressing in the back. They came cuffed, but these cuffs are not stationary. They're probably cuffed at about a five inch length, four and a half to five inches. So that's how they look. I can turn them down and they have that frayed edge. 
So that's what they look like, totally uncuffed. Yeah, they're longer. This is probably about a seven inch rise when they're uncuffed, six or seven. I don't know what you think. They are super comfy. They're super comfy and I like them, but I don't like them as much as the ones I already have from Gap. So you guys might like to try this brand, Flying Monkey. I know they make denim and obviously denim shorts. I had just never tried them before, so they might work for you. All right, I have one more bottom to try on and that, that's the joggers from Level 99. So let me get into those, I'll be right back. Okay, here are the black level 99 joggers. They have the, they're the pull-on style with a drawstring, zipper pockets here, and then no other, oh, some little slit pockets on the back. Okay, so once I got these on, they're fine and they, they're stretchy and they're pretty cute, but I had a problem with them. <laughs> um, these joggers are a size small. My other level 99 joggers are in a size 27. So they are, you know, by waist size, 27, 28, like that. And they have a zipper and a button. These are just pull on. And let me tell you that when I got the waist to about right here, I didn't think I was going to be able to get these on. It was tricky getting these up over my hips and all the way on. And I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. And it, it's like there's not enough elastic in the waistband. Like the waistband doesn't have enough stretch. The pants are okay once you get them on as far as stretch and fit and all that, but the waistband, I mean, that was tough. I was afraid I was gonna rip something. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to say that these are a no. And, um, you know, I'm kind of disappointed, although not really, because I already like so many of the other things. I couldn't keep, I can't keep everything from this box. Um, so that's just a mental note, I guess, for any other level 99 jogger. Uh, if it has just a pull on waist, maybe I do need the medium because these, um, while they are very cute, they just were not fun to get on and I kind of dread taking them off. <laughs> so, but you know, everything doesn't work out, does it? That's why we try these on. But overall, I think this was a great box. Don't you? I think Jennifer, my stylist, really listened to me. She listened to my feedback and what fit me and what didn't. And she sent me some great items that fit me really, really well. So yes, some great items. Let me know what you think about everything and what I should keep or send back. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking definitely yes on the white denim. I loved those. Uh, the Democracy jeans. I'm probably going to pass on just because I know that I can find democracy other places that not at full price. Um, the Liverpool jeans, I mean, not jeans, the Liverpool dress pants, I'm leaning heavily toward keeping. Um, the jean shorts, no. The dress, I, it's really cute, but I just, I can't keep everything. Um, these two tops, I feel like, are probably keepers. This one, even though I love the feel of it, it feels amazing. Um, for the price of it, um, I feel like it's a little plain for the price. This was just super cute and very flattering with that little peplum style. And this with the bow in the back, this could really be dressed up and be a very cute blouse for lots of different occasions. So I'm liking these. And these are gonna be a note because of the waist. So that's where I am. Um, 
Give me some feedback. Let me know what you liked or didn't like in this collection. And thank you guys so much for joining me today. I enjoy having you with me and sharing a little part of your day with me. Um, I love reading all your comments and I try to, co to comment back on every single one, but as the subscribers grow and grow and grow, I can't always um, comment back on everything, but I try to at least give you a little heart and show you that I read it. So uh, keep those comments coming. If you like my channel and haven't subscribed, I would appreciate having you as a subscriber and also give this video a thumbs up. So that's it for this edition of Style with Serena. I hope you enjoyed this daily look, unboxing, and try on. And until I see you again, have a stylish day. Bye-bye.